Hi, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sandra, my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? Yes? Good. I know I've been away for a week, two weeks, I'm not quite sure. I think I did one video about a week ago and then before that there was another week. There's been a few things going on in my, um, my home life and I needed to just focus some attention on, you know, family members let's put it like that but I am back now I should be able to do a little bit of catching up because I have got quite a few videos that should have been filmed or should have been uploaded and they haven't been done so I'm trying to do a little bit of a catch-up at the moment so I you may have seen there was a video that was posted earlier this morning and that was from Chicknetics I've got those eyelashes on now and these were sent to me for review so do go ahead and have a look at that video before and see what you think of the lashes these are the lavish lashes I'm wearing now and these are ones that um, I'd say I can wear on a daily basis so I, I, I quite like them so easy to put on but I like them anyway today I am doing my monthly battle of the ten pound boxes I really, really, really need to think about the title of my, my videos, don't I? I really do, because I've noticed other people are starting to use my ideas now. So I need to think of something new and catch up with that. So the two boxes I'm doing today, they are both British branded boxes. They both cost £10. They've got different, no, slightly different postage and packaging. But overall, they're £10 boxes roughly cost about £13 altogether when it comes to postage and packaging both boxes have five items in there but the, and then from there the similarities kind of end so the first box I'm going to do is the rocker box which costs £10 plus £3.95 postage and packaging with rocker box you do tend to get five full size items in there and um, so let's see what we've got last month's box was actually quite good um, my, my, I haven't been with Rocket Box that long. I think this is my sixth box, seventh box now. And what I've found so far with Rocket Box is that the items I've received have been okay. But what tends to happen is that there's usually one item in each box which is like really, really good. And I've really, really liked that item. And that's what's made up the value of the box for me. What I tend to look for in my beauty box subscriptions, depending on what the price of the box is, I'm looking for at least double that price in retail value in the items that I end up using. So, for example, if the box costs £10 with the postage and packaging £13.95 like this one, I'm looking for the value of the items that I end up using to be sort of £26, you know, at least. You know what I mean? So that's what I kind of look for, for the box to be of value to me. Last month's rocker box was actually pretty good. I'm trying to remember. There was the, um, there was the, there was the L'Occitane um, almond oil body lotion, milk body lotion. I really like that stuff. That was so good. There was one of the, there was the Marc Jacobs mascara, really nice mascara. So I've enjoyed using that. So you know, last month's box, there were five items in the box which I actually really enjoyed. So it, it was, it was a good box last month. So let's take this last box out and let's see how we get on. So this is what the box traditionally looks like. Yep, see that? Let's go in and see what we've got. So we have a card and the box this month is a vegan beauty box. So that seems to be the theme this month and it says, hey rocker babes, I'm so excited to show you this month's box because not only are the products inside absolute must-haves, of course, but every single product is also completely vegan, clean and cruelty free. I really don't like that phrase clean. Clean doesn't mean anything. It, it, it's just um, a marketing term. It doesn't actually mean anything. So Please don't sort of use that as, as something that is, no. oh, if the products aren't clean, it doesn't mean anything. It literally is just a marketing term that's been coined by the beauty industry to try and sell products. But vegan, yes. Um, so we're looking at sort of plant-based um, products, so there's no animal-based products in there. Cruelty-free, yes, good. So that's um, products that are made without harming any animals. But saying that though i see i'm one of those people i kind of sit on the fence on cruelty free so yes i don't want products that are being produced that are that harm animals just to get that product for our own vanity that i don't like but if a product has been produced 
if an animal has been bred for specific purposes for for humans so say for example for meat and stuff and then byproducts can be used in the beauty industry i actually haven't got a problem with that i know a lot of people won't like that especially vegetarians and vegans but personally i haven't got a product with that i only have a problem when a product has been just basically harmed or killed treated in a really bad way for human vanity and just for human means and it's just and there was no need for it whatsoever so it's for me it's the way how the animal has been treated for during its life and how its life has been ended that's to me is more important to me because i think everything should be treated with respect and dignity if it lives and breathes treat it with um, respect and dignity that's how i see it anyway so this box vegan clean and cruelty free whether it's for health ethical or principled reason there's no denying that ve veganism is on the rise and i for one am delighted to see that the beauty industry is catching up with this growing movement and fulfilling the demands for vegan beauty products that don't compromise on quality yeah fair enough you don't need to follow a vegan lifestyle to appreciate vegan or cruelty free beauty of course and luckily we're now seeing beauty manufacturers turning out clean see it's that term clean again clean vegan and cruelty free products that are just as high grade effective and deluxe as their non-vegan counterparts and more of a pleasure to use as we can enjoy them with a clean conscience okay clean conscience clear conscience i probably would have said clear conscience there but okay there you go um what else does she say here as you can imagine though not all vegan beauty products are created equally which is why this month we've put together a selection of our current favorites to help you on your journey to discovering the beauty of vegan beauty love tia so i think i believe yeah tia is the founder and ceo chief executive officer of rocker box so a lot of the products in there so this is something i always have to remind myself a lot of the products in this box are things that she likes and that she favors so i have to always remember that this is a, a white woman a caucasian woman with long straight hair so the products inside the box may not be suitable for me so that's something i always remember i try to always keep in the back of my mind because i don't think when she's when she's putting products in the box she's not thinking inclusive she's thinking about products that she knows that she really likes and she no mm. it's her box end of the day so she can do what she wants <coughs> um okay excuse me right so i'm laughing because the first product in this box is so going in my giveaway box so this is from kat von d so it's kat von d not even kvd um bt kitten mini tattoo liner right so i, I don't even want to touch this product but i am i'm going to just mention it and i'm going to put it in a giveaway kat von d um she's no longer sort of in the beauty industry as such she just basically got kicked out to be honest um so she's a racist narcissist she's anti-vaccination she um anti-semitic everything about kat von d is just nasty absolutely horrible she's a fantastic tattooist that's about the only redeeming thing about her so anything with Kat Von D I have no time for whatsoever apparently she's produced some really fantastic mascaras and a tattoo eyeliner which is like something that um, kind of made her famous as well as her tattoo art work and stuff but yeah I, I just have no time for anything Kat Von D so I'm going to put this in my giveaway box here it is and that's going to go straight to my giveaway box I yeah, I'm not even going to give it the time to even talk about it so that's the first product and that happens to be the hero product so that's not a great start for me yes she's vegan yeah but that's about that's it that's the only redeeming thing you can say about her really moving on very quickly I'm I'm see I'm one of those people I very much um, look at the brands and the people behind the brands as well where they're coming from what they're thinking and so forth so there's lots of brand owners in the beauty industry I will not touch I will not discuss because of who they are as people what their beliefs are and how they behave um, sometimes it's best for brand owners just to keep their mouth shut and just market their goods but a lot of them they don't they're out there on social media and letting people know who they are and Maya Angelou she always said when people show you who they are believe them there's no need to be giving them second chances or saying that things oh this happened a long time ago they're showing us who they are believe them and Kat Von D she showed us who she is she's married the person she's married to 
she's got her beliefs I don't she's one of those people don't want nothing to do with her the her brand was taken over by the same people who who um, own Fenty Beauty I can't remember what they're called begin I can't remember what they're called um, and they changed the brand name to KVD so which was really stupid they should have just completely just got rid of the whole KVD thing um, but people were still sort of aligning the brand with Kat Von D so they have now come out with another name for themselves it's still KVD but the KVD stands for something else which no one really cares about it's as far as they're concerned it, people are still thinking Kat Von D and that's it but you know what I mean Right, moving on. Next product in here is from Grow Gorgeous Hair Care. So they do that scalp detoxifying scrub thing for the scalp. Um, so this is a defense detoxifying scalp scrub. Right, okay, here we go. Is this it? Yeah, this is the product here. Um, so this is why we picked it. For you didn't need a scalp scrub in your hair care routine. Well, once you try this, you'll change your mind. Look at, look at it as a primer for your hair. It will exfoliate and refresh your scalp, remove product buildup, dead skin cells and excess sebum, leaving your hair and scalp cleaner and glossier and allowing your shampoo, conditioner and hair care products to get to work properly. If you've ever felt like product buildup is messing with your shine, all that pollution from living in a city could be to blame for your dull locks, all that your usual shampoo just isn't getting rid of your grease, then this is your new secret weapon. So this is a travel size and it's worth six pounds. Okay. Um, I know quite a lot of people who really, really like this product. Um, I have used it because I've received this in other beauty box subscriptions. I, it's all right. It's, I like the idea of it, but it's just that I tend to, I have found that it still left little bits of grits and stuff in my scalp. But I like the idea of it and I have gone on to have other brands that I have used that do the same sort of thing, scalp scrubs, that sort of dissolve better and give me that whole tingling scalp, scalp exfoliation thing better than this product has for me. But that's just me. I think there's other people, I know I've heard other, other YouTubers say they really, really like this product. So I'm also going to put this product in my giveaway because um, somebody else can give it a go. Um, but for me, it, it didn't work that well for me, this particular brand. But it's not a bad product, just didn't work for me. So there you go. Next product in here is from Balance Me. Oh, dear. Oh, where is it? So this is from Balance Me, and this is a Balance Me skincare collagen boost moisturizer so why we picked it plump out dehydrated skin with the peptide rich hyaluronic acid enriched cream by boosting collagen and elastin production and injecting moisture into parched skin it restores skin's bounce and massively boosts radiance levels i've been using this regularly for a month now and i've seen it restore my thirsty complexion noticeably firming it up and smoothing away those irritating um, fine dehydration lines so this um, retails for 10 pounds um, so again this product is good if you've got really dry skin or if you're starting to see fine lines and so forth it's not a problem I particularly have because my problem is that I've got very oily skin and my problem is is that I'm always trying to sort of mattify my skin but yet keeping it hydrated at the same time so this is not a product for me um, so again this is another product that I'm going to be putting in my giveaway and again not not because it's a bad product it's just that it's not something that I need so here we go that goes in the giveaway as well oh dear so first three products have gone into the giveaway two products because I um, one one I don't need two the second one I don't um, I don't it wasn't that effective for me when I've used it before and the third because it's a brand I just don't want nothing to do with so so far right next product is from beauty papier this is a brand i've never heard of before and this is a golden superfood antioxidant shower gel oh that sounds interesting that's a nice big bottle as well okay so why we picked it for a supercharged wake up add this to your morning shower chock full of skin loving superfood pumpkin argan oil um, aloe vera orange this antioxidant rich gel 
will boost your skin's health as it cleanses while its invigorating scent will perk you up and leave you feeling energized and ready to face the day. Oh, and the bottle, full size, looks super snazzy in your shower tray. Okay, and recommended retail price for this is £25. Well, that's my value for this box straight away because this is a product I will use and I'll try and make sure that I'm using it and not my daughter. Just gonna have a little smell. Smells nice as well, actually. Yeah, cool. I'm quite excited to use that. I listen. I I'm in a household that you goes through shower gels like it's going out of fashion, literally. So I'm gonna try and use this one myself, and hopefully my daughter won't nab it. <laughs> she probably will, but I want to try and get a couple of uses out of it as well. So this product I'm really happy about. Twenty five quid though, guys. Wow. Wow. And the final product in this box is something I recognise from Vitamask. So Vitamask Gold Eye Pads. Why we picked it. The best looking eye mask you'll ever see, that's for sure. But it doesn't just make for good Instagram fodder, it, it walks the walk too. These golden patches are infused with 24 karat gold and hyaluronic acid to reduce the look of fine lines, pump moisture and brighten dark circles a lovely restorative treat at the end of a, a tiring work day and this is worth five pound and 99 okay so the whole gold thing I, I really don't believe in this whole gold and what it's going to do for your skin but saying that though this is a nice eye mask i have used this one before it is nice it does leave your skin very moisturized under my uh, under your eyes because that is the one area off my face that actually does get dry and that is under my eyes I mean you can probably see I've got a couple of little fine lines that are starting to appear under my eyes now but hey I'm 52 so I should be starting to sh at least have some fine lines on my face I actually almost want them just to show yes it's my rite of passage I need to have some fine lines but this is a nice eye mask it's very it's very comfortable it is moisturizing and it is hydrating so I will be keeping that so that is all good so um yeah um and there's a final item in here i think it's our little treat so they do like to give us little treats inside our boxes sometimes so sometimes it'll be a food or a drink and it looks like i've got two little things here so let's show you these i have two of these so this is what is it so this is the coconut collaborative plant-based chocolate little pots and these are 100 calories um hmm. okay good news only 100 calories it's gluten free and it's dairy free okay i'll give this a go so i've got two of these here i'll probably have that later as a late dessert so that's cool cool i'm not going to eat it now because i'm not because no i'm not ready to eat anything yet but that is cool so my thoughts on this box okay products in the box decent quality they are good quality unfortunately three items that i am going to be putting in my giveaway so i always like to give my beauty boxes if i can i like to especially if i remember i do like to give them a score so um, i will give a product one if it's something that i'm going to use happy to use all good i'll give it a half if it's something i'm not sure about but i'm kind of giving it i'm going to give it a try or i might give it to a member of my family so i'll give it a half and the product will get a zero if it's not something i want i'm not going to use um and it's going into the giveaway so it will get a score of zero so there are five items in this box is that right one two three four five items three items have gone into the giveaway so they all get zero but two items i'm keeping so the shower gel which i'm actually quite excited to use and this eye mask which i know is really lovely to use as well so so this month's box only gets two out of five this month which is a shame so i think last month's box i think it got five I think I gave last month's box, box four and a half or five. It got a very high score. So, well, that's how it goes. Swings and roundabouts. Okay, so that's the first box. Let's go and look and see what Birch Box is doing. So, Birch Box is the other um, ten pound beauty box. It arrived. Oh dear! It arrived looking a little bit knackered in the post um yeah, this is literally how it arrived when i say in the post it was hermes who delivered it the courier and he was so, so sweet he's my regular courier guy and he says look this is this is how the box is this is how i got it do you want it because if not i can i can i can send it back and say that it was too damaged to be received by the recipient i was like well 
I think I could see because I kind of had a look in it and I thought well I think I could see five items in there so I'll accept it so this is the box this month birch box £10 as I said £2.95 postage and packaging so that's the difference it's the postage and packaging difference things with birch box though you don't get full size items you tend to get sort of deluxe um deluxe travel size deluxe sample size occasionally you might get a full size item but it'll be like a, a sheet mask or a brush an eyeshadow brush or something like that something that can fit into the box what's good about birch box and why i um I, mean, I actually didn't subscribe to birch box for a while but i saw an offer um they one thing about Birchbox, there's always offers going on, so do look out for them. And um, I saw an offer where you can get three boxes for the price of £20 or something like that. So, yeah, I just thought, oh, let me sign up for that. So I'm getting three months for this for this offer. Um, there's always offers like that. So I probably will, when this three months ends, I'll probably find another one and sign it up. So I'm just going to take all the stuff out of the box. everything I think okay right so this the main thing this month was this, this packaging because um, usually with Birchbox every month they do sort of they email you and say okay there's a choice of something here so it'll be a sh it's usually a choice of shades or fragrance color that sort of thing this month it was this packaging so this is some sort of silicone packaged thing it feels like silicone it's very rubbery that's what it looks like and this is the alternative to the box that they normally give us each month so um the brand of this box is stasher stasher ink and they're calling it a sandwich pineapple so the color i chose was this which was pineapple i can't remember i think the shades available were an orange um this yellow pineapple and i think it was like a greeny blue color as well um, i think my daughter chose the greeny blue one her birch box hasn't arrived as yet so not quite sure what's happening there so um, yeah let's go through these items i can see one item here which i'm really pleased to see so that's my leaflet so you can see that's all damaged and wrecked dear oh dear theme is future is now um um it says here in the leaflet we want to see your april birch box upload a photo of this month's birch box to instagram with the hashtag hashtag birch box the uk well i've already put a, a picture up of the damaged box that arrived <laughs> so anyway here we go we've got hello birch boxes we're working on ways to make the beauty world a more sustainable place started by collaborating with stasha to transform your april birch box into one of their reusable silicone bags not only can you use it as a totally airtight beauty bag, it's also suitable for cooking, storing or freezing food. The road to a fully sustainable beauty industry is a long one, but we're here for the ride. Okay, so seems to be very common themes this month um, in, the, in the beauty boxes. So sustainability, cruelty free, vegan, all that sort of thing all very much environmentally friendly thinking about our environment and not just us and our own selfish needs which i'm all for right let's have a look and see what they've given us so the first item i have got i did make sure i do my beauty profile with birchbox they've got um they do do a beauty profile quiz it's a very basic quiz but uh, i kind of made sure that i highlighted sort of skin tone hair type that sort of thing and things that i like so <coughs> excuse me so the first item we've got here is from green frog botanic and it's an argan and rose oil shampoo bar right where is that is this it okay this is it I thought it was a sweet treat. I thought it was one of those coconut raccoon, I don't know, coconut maroony things, marshmallow things. But here we go, this is it. So meet this solid shampoo that will give liquid versions a run for their money. Formulated with a blend of argan oil, rose oil and aloe vera, this totally plastic-free shampoo not only deeply cleanses your hair, it also leaves your locks feeling deeply hydrated and nourished. Vegan friendly, plastic free, no nasty chemicals and 100% um, degradable. So that's good. Um, recommended retail price for this is £4.95. Is this a full size? Um, yeah, this is a full size, I think. So I'm just looking. Hashtag RRPs and images correspond to full size and travel size items. Ah, so this could be travel size. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, the ingredients are sodium, cocoa sulfate, helianithus anus, sunflower seed oil, glycerine, which attracts moisture, argan, argania spinosa kernel oil, that's the argan oil, prunus, almenica, that's apricot kernel oil, camellia japonica seed oil, that is supposed to be really good, camellia, citric acid perfume, olea europea, that's olive oil, fruit oil, um, Oh god, we've got cocoa in here. Yeah, cocoa seed butter, aloe something, yeah, aloe vera. But, okay, it's good. I, I'm going to open it so we can see what it looks like from the inside. Okay, so it's just a little bar like that. It smells nice enough. It smells very much like um, laundry tablets, to be honest. It does, it smells like a laundry tablet. Okay, I'm willing to give it a go. Um, I've only just put these braids in, so I'm not sure how suitable this will be for my braids. But probably when I pull the braids out, I'll use it. Or I'll ask my daughter to use it and try it out and see what she thinks. So that's the first item. So I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking I'm going to give that a half, because I'm not quite sure about the product, if it's suitable for my hair. But I'm willing to give it a go, so I'm going to give it a half. Next item is from Hugens, H-U-Y-G-E-N-S. This is organic night repair oil. So it's a, literally a little sample. Yeah, it's the kind of thing you would get in the shop as a freebie. So um, full size of this is £31. Obviously this is a sample. And this says, say hello to glow with this cocktail of seven organic oils that naturally aid skin regeneration while you enjoy a peaceful slumber. Coconut and hazelnut oils repair lavender and oh coconut and ha hazelnut oils repair lavender and rosewood oils regenerate um, and argan oil protects skin throughout the night wake up to silky soft visibly healthy skin okay i'm um, definitely going to give this a go because i do spend a lot of time on my night care regime um, because i have got very oily skin i do I think I personally think that it's a symptom of my skin being dehydrated why my skin overly my face overly produces too much oil so at night time I do spend a lot of time sort of using various products that will help with hydration protecting my skin um, helping my evening my skin tone correcting all of that sort of stuff I I do a lot at night time trust me I really do so this is something I'm more than happy to to try out for the next few weeks and see how I get on with it so that's cool so that definitely gets a one next item is from al oh dear algology 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 i don't know how to pronounce it so it's algology um the full size of this product Ooh. is 33 pounds now have i got this here ah oh, is this the product that i'm missing i oh, know here it is this is it so um the picture on the screen is not like this so this is a hydro replenishing booster so packed with hyaluronic acid and natural marine active ingredients think algae coastal plants and seawater this jellified moisturizing serum is designed to deliver immediate hydration and comfort to even the driest of skins apply morning and evening and follow with moisturizer for soft supple skin um it says here wow i'll Algology uses stem cell innovation to produce ultra concentrated actives without harming the marine environment. So this is obviously a sample. Um, how much is in this little sample? So we've got 15 mils in here. It, it, it says it's for dry skin. I haven't got dry skin. So I'm either going to, I'm not quite sure, I'm going to give this to my sister. She probably won't take it because I've given her quite a few things recently. Um, leave it for my mother when she comes because she might appreciate it or I'll put this in the giveaway box but either way I'm not going to be using this product so it's going to somebody else but I'm not quite sure who as yet so this is going to go over there as a product that may end up in the giveaway box next is from beauty crops this is a full-size item I've received this before um, this is uh, mascara, it's called Fabulous Flocking Lashes, full size. 
Right, so this is from Beauty Crop, and this is the Fabulous Flocking Lashes, and it's full size. Um, recommended retail price for this is £9. This waterproof, budgeproof formula is the everyday mascara of dreams. It's enriched with argan and jojoba oil to lengthen, thicken, and nourish eyelashes from within. Plus, when it's time to take it off, the tubes around your lashes will slide right off with warm water. No, no mess, no fuss. So that seems to be a thing at the moment. I've noticed that quite a few beauty boxes, um, I think particularly in America, the mascaras they're putting in are these tubular mascaras. Not quite understanding what they mean by tubular. It seems like it's something that wraps around your eyelashes and something, I'm not quite sure. I know that the one of my favourite mascaras, the Thrive Mascara, that is a tubular mascara. I'm not quite sure what makes it good, but this is obviously another one like that. Um, so there you go. And these, these kind of mascaras are supposed to be sort of smudge proof and they, yeah, they don't smear and stuff. I really don't know. Um, I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to put this in the giveaway because I have got so many mascaras you would not believe. And it's not like I'm not going to receive any more mascaras in beauty boxes in the future. So I'm definitely going to put this one in a giveaway box. Um, the problem is I think my giveaway box has already got a couple of mascaras in there already. So... We'll see. But yeah, I, I'm not going to use this one. It's definitely going away. Okay. It's, it's funny because the Beauty Crop, this and the other brand, Beautynique, I do get the two mixed up. Actually, I've got the Beautynique one here, haven't I? Yeah. I always mix the two up. So you've got the Beauty Crop and you've got Beautynique. So two different brands. Um, and I think Beauty Crop, from what, I've, what I'm hearing, is now available in... Is it Superdrug? I think you can find them in Superdrug now, so there you go. So that's going in my giveaway box. I'll talk a little bit about my giveaway box in a minute, actually, so stay till the end, guys. And last product in the box, which I'm delighted to see. I think I've got this colour already, actually, but doesn't matter. It's all good. This is a nail varnish from Nails Inc. Full size, recommended retail price is £11. Um, this is a looking super juicy nail polish. Vibrant watermelon scented and enriched with real melon extract and vitamin C. This warm pinky red polish glides effortlessly onto your nails thanks to the patented ergonomic brush design. Glossy glowing nails guaranteed. So I, I do like nails ink and I love receiving nail varnishes. Um, I can't receive nail varnishes from my American beauty boxes because they can't transport it over to the UK. So I love receiving them in my UK boxes. And Nails Inc. seems to be the brand that a lot of the um, boxes use, which is just as well because they're a brand that I like anyway. They have really bright colours. But what I'm fascinated about is that they're saying that it's got a watermelon scent. So I want to smell it for myself and see. Well, I can smell nail varnish, but I can... Yeah, it's got a slight scent, but predominantly it's a nail varnish scent, so yeah, cool. Let's put a little bit on my nails here. My nails are clean. Um, I'll do my little nail here, just to see. Right, so that's what the colour looks like. It's a nice colour, isn't it? That's a nice colour. Yeah, so you, you, you know you'll see me wearing this over the next few days. So that's what it looks like. So yeah, that's good. Right, how, how, what am I saying about this birch box? So the nail varnish I'm definitely keeping. So that's a one. The mascara is going to be given away. So that gets a zero. Um, the Al Algologi Hydro Replenishing Booster um, is going to be given away as well to family or whoever. I'm not quite sure. The Hugens Organic Night Repair Oil I'll definitely be using. I'll be trying that out. And the, the Green Frog Botanic Shampoo. I'm going to give it a go. So I'm not going to give it a full one because I'm not convinced. I'm going to give it a half. So this box gets two and a half. Is that right? Yeah, this one gets two and a half out of five. Okay. Um, so this month's box, products are all good. I mean... All around the products are all good just that some products I won't, won't be using for various reasons but I would say out of the two boxes I think the birch box is my favorite box this month would you agree again I'm basing it on things that work for me you understand so I don't know you tell me um, I think my favorite products from 
the boxes are this shower gel which I'm really looking forward to using seeing what that's like the Hugens um, nitro pale oil that was in the birch box and the nail varnish that was in the birch box so for me birch box has definitely won this month in my battle of the 10 pound boxes but you guys you tell me what you got if you get birch box or rocker box did you receive the same item because i'm always interested to see if there's any variations i think with birch box there's more likely to be variations rocker box i think we tend to mostly all get the same thing i think so what did you think about your products for the rocker box are you enjoying them are you happy with them have you tried them as yet and birch box what did you receive did you receive the same things as me if you didn't what did you receive and if you've tried some of the products particularly like this shampoo bar how are you getting on with it tell me what how you're getting on with it no please say what your hair type is and then how you've got on with this if you've tried it or not all right that's cool now before i go i just want to mention about the giveaway so i started a giveaway in january and the aim of that giveaway was for 3500 subscribers and then i'll be doing a giveaway um I, this getting to 3500 just seems to take forever and i'm bored i like doing giveaways and i'm bored of waiting so i've decided to end this giveaway at the end of this month so end of april is the end of this giveaway there's enough products inside my giveaway box for maybe two or three winners so one of the winners is going to be somebody who has commented um in the last three months who, and also subscribed to my channel obviously so someone who's constantly been commenting as regular commenter on my channel i can see that they're subscribed so their settings are on public and that's it so that's going to be one of my winners the other winner is going to be someone who comments in this video so this video only and is also a subscriber to my channel um, as I said my giveaway box is packed absolutely packed and I haven't done my American Beauty boxes from March's yet so there's bound to be products inside um, and there's bound to be products that I'll be going in the giveaway from my March American boxes so at the end of this month i will be announcing who my two winners will be someone so the two winners will be one person who has been commenting regularly for since january in my videos and who is subscribed and i can see they're subscribed and the second winner will be somebody from this video who has commented and i can see that they are subscribed as well all right that's it guys i'm glad i'm back um, yeah, I'm glad I'm back. So look out. I've got quite a few videos hopefully coming up this week um, So if you're not subscribed as yet, you know what you need to do Just press that subscribe button because you can't enter my giveaways unless you're not and you can't see my videos If you're not subscribed press the subscribe press the all notifications and that will make sure you are notified to any of my future videos and If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because um, that all helps the notifications and it helps my presence on YouTube it's, even though it doesn't really make much difference to be honest because I am I'm not something that is represented in the YouTube algorithms so you know I've kind of accepted that now so I'll stop going on about it to be honest but yeah if you give me a thumbs up it does help and it helps to share my video it helps to just raise the profile of my videos a bit all right don't forget most important thing for you guys to do now is to enjoy this video, stay safe out there and subscribe to my and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, take care and I will see you soon. Look after yourselves. Take care.